Hello everybody and welcome to Primal Survival. On this episode I'm going to show you how to make a very affordable do-it-yourself food preparation emergency bucket. Now we're going to go through each item in here and how much it roughly costs and we'll add it up at the end of the video and it's going to be very cheap you will see. So let's get right into it. Um, so first of all we got a bucket. Now this plastic bucket on its own has a lot of things going for it. Um, you can carry water in it, five gallons at once. So carrying water out in a survival situation is a big deal. Let's say you threw this in the back of your car and um, you're bugging out and your car overheats. Whoa, you got a bucket to go get some water out of a stream or a pond to fill up your radiator. Uh, a bucket can, let's say you hit a small animal, you need somewhere to put it. You don't want to get it all nasty in your car and you want to keep it for food. Empty out the bucket, put it in the bucket. Um, a, look at this hard piece of metal wire hard heavy wire you can make a harpoon with that you can spear fish with this remember always be thinking be in um industrious and resourceful so um that's the bucket the bucket with the lid most hardware stores probably cost anywhere from five to seven dollars so so all right let's get the top off and what do we have here we have a double barrel amount of coconut oil now coconut oil is very good for eating okay it's high in calories for the amount of space it takes up any oil is oil is very high in calories and that's what that's what the idea is is to have a lot of calories in a small container this is also good for uh, putting on your skin let's say you're sunburnt this is really good for uh, that this has medical uses this is really good for um uh you know uh, you get cut and you want to get something clean in there ointment this is innumerable um uses for coconut oil that's why it's in here and it has a nice solid state um you know whenever it's cold it has a high smoking temperature i love coconut oil and if you research it i think you will too so this cost ten dollars for these two or it did and um i got it at walmart all this was bought at walmart except the bucket i think so ten dollars so so far we're up to fifteen dollars bucket in oil next i got soap now soap is a really big deal being clean out in the field you know let's say you bug out to the woods you make yourself a little shelter like you see in one of my videos and you have one of these buckets now you got soap this here is going to clean wounds this is going to clean your whole body from stinking you know, you use the restroom. Let's get real here. You're going to need to wash your, your, your crevices after a week or two. And you're going to, it's going to be a morale boost. You're going to be way uh, more comfortable that you're clean. So you, you want to wash your hands before you put them in, before you put them in the pot and make food, right? So I wrapped these in the individual bags. Now these bags have a lot of value in the field. You can use them for, like I said, water collection. You can wrap up a little animal in it, hang it in a tree to keep other animals away from it. Um, uh, water distillation from plants. Plastic is awesome. So I got the, that in here. I got five bars of soap. All right, let's get down to the brass tack, and by that I mean beans. Now I got an assortment of beans in here, but I got a lot of black beans. This is four pounds of black beans. Now you can actually live off of about half a pound a day, and that's a generous amount, half a pound. Um, so we'll just say half a pound a day, and that is um, eight days right there, eight days worth of food. Okay, beans. Okay, so you're going to need fire to cook all this, right? You don't want to be eating it just raw or hard and crunchy, right? So, fire. Now, this is the the minimal is a lighter. Quick, easy fire. You know, if it gets wet, it'll dry out in a, in a couple um in a couple minutes, you you know, just it'll dry out. It's not like matches that are ruined, you know. So, a lighter. Put a few lighters. Put a whole pack of lighters in here. There's room. That cost a dollar. Then I got rice. Now I didn't go too crazy on the rice. Everyone's all, you know, beans and rice, equal portions probably. I didn't do that. Beans are more filling. They're more nutritive, more nutritive than uh, rice. There's a lot more going for it. But this is for variety and, and just different purposes. You got to have some of that. 
a small little bit of rice puffs up and goes a long way. And brown rice is better for you than white rice. There's more calories in brown, brown rice and more uh, nutrition in it. Go with the brown rice. All right, so now I got a variety of one pound bags of different kinds of beans. I got red beans, small red beans, one pound. Um, oh yeah, so this is another thing. This is a dollar at the dollar store. You say, Mr. Primal Survival, that is a dog bowl. You are correct, my friend. A one dollar dog bowl, that's stainless steel, and you can cook food in it. What good is all this if you don't have something to cook it in? Put that in your bucket, one dollar. All right, <clears throat> one pound of light red kidney beans, good variety. One pound of green split peas, good variety. One pound of lentils, one pound of black eyed peas, one pound of navy beans, good variety. And another big whopping helping of black beans right here. So just the two bags of black beans, you're up to over two weeks for one person. Or two people if you ration it out even more, you know. And then I got four pounds combined, two two-pound bags of frijoles, pintos. So these pino beans are for variety. They also have little seasoning packets. Now, having seasoning for your food is a huge morale booster. Of course, you can eat all this without any seasoning, just water and, and heat. It cooks, it makes it soft, you eat it. But it's not going to taste very good. So if uh, I get some seasoning packets, um, throw a pound of salt and a pound of pepper in this in a bucket like this. Um, those are for extra credit, but it is not a necessity. So let's go through the prices. These are probably about two dollars each. So that's four dollars. Four dollars. This was a pro. Let's just say this is four dollars too. Okay. Then we got. And this is how you pack it. I'm packing it the way you should pack it too, because this saves the most amount of space. Um, then these all here, about $1.50 each. So if these go around the sides. $1.50, $1.50, $1.50. Boom, those go around the sides. Kind of smash them down too. I'll show you why. See, there's a little hole there. That's where the pot goes. So you're saving space, saving space. Now inside that pot, you got one more little bag of beans. There you go. Uh, brown rice, line the can, line the can like that. Black beans, one big strip down the center right there. Uh, let me see here. Then you got your oil. Now look at all that room. You can still fit a lot of stuff in there. So you put your bars of soap in here. Remember that we want clean little rumps while we're out there, so we feel nice. And then your fire source. Put a whole pack in there. I suggest a whole pack. So the next items I'm going to show you are for extra credit. This here is just a $5 pocket knife. Holds a decent edge. Good enough to clean an animal. Um, good enough to, you know, make even a bow drill, you know, for fire by friction. Throw that in there. That's just five bucks. Then I got a magnesium fire starter. There are several lights in this. This can get wet all day, frozen, trampled upon, thrown at things, and you're gonna be able to start fire. This is, hey, easy, easy, puppy, is easy. My dogs are uh, having a nice little um, conversation over there. So this here is a ferro rod on the top. This sparks a uh, spark. You can light a fire with good tinder just with that. Or you can scrape some shavings off of this magnesium block part and have a really hot, fire um, starting capabilities with that and I'll make a video on how to use one of these so this is like three dollars at Harbor Freight now this is a very cheap bucket and I'll, I'll, we're, we're gonna add up the costs so this isn't that heavy you know uh, you throw this in the back of your car uh, geez if you had to you could just grab this and run across the field with it you know it would be worth it to have this and you know you can live a couple you know a month so, all right, thank you for watching Primal Survival. Hit that like button. That will tell the algorithm algorithms that this is a correct video for the topic. Um, subscribe to the channel. That will help grow and expand the knowledge base. Hey, hey, hey. Easy, baby. So, Ace wants to mate with his wife. 
baby. She's getting ready to come into heat, but she's not ready yet, and they're getting kind of crotchety. <laughs> um, subscribe to the channel. That's going to uh, grow it and push it out there so people can actually get this knowledge and uh, use it and uh, save themselves. So leave a comment. If you uh, have a criticism about what I did or didn't do right or wrong, or you have other ideas, share them with me. If there is something else that you would like me to do a video on and research it and put the information I find out there on the channel, put it in the comments. All right, well, I love y'all. Be safe, stay warm, uh, put God first, and keep America free and stay brave. All right, we'll see you soon on the next video.